Now please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Manhasset, and happy Friday. I'm Victoria Yang. And I'm Zane Bakke, coming back at you from NBC Studios. Hey Vic, have you started watching your holiday movies yet? Yeah, I spent the whole day on Saturday watching the Hallmark Channel. The weather is getting colder and the holidays are near. We hope you're all excited for this year's festivities. To celebrate, our Manhasset Music Department is having their annual holiday concerts. There will be two concerts for both high school and middle school. The first high school performance will be on December 15th in the auditorium. The second high school performance will be on December 21st with its first part of the concert beginning at 6.30. As for the middle school, concerts begin on December 13th in the auditorium. We hope to see everyone there. Now on to Liliana for a report on Iris Liu, her award-winning essay about how automobiles affected the suffrage movement. Here at Manassa High School, we strive to give students a platform to display their work and allow them opportunity to enter various writing competitions in order to test their merit and skill at a larger scale. A junior at Manhasset High School, Iris Liu had entered the David McCullough Essay Contest and had received a third place finish following the submission of her essay on the effects of automobiles on the suffrage movement. As um, a woman myself, I'm interested in how suffrage movements really exactly succeeded. Because there are a lot of movements these days, especially with social media. The suffrage movement has always been ongoing, but it isn't until in a very specific period in time that got popular and got support of others. Symbolism of automobiles during the suffrage movement was that women can fix cars, they can ride cars just as good as men. Because car, riding cars was not that common because they didn't have that technology. It was mainly a sport and entertainment for people who are rich, people who have the spare time. And there are some people who race cars and there are female car racers back in the days were obviously criticized by other people because women are not supposed to do these drastic sports. But additionally, the protesters for the suffrage movement used automobiles to go around the United States of America to make speeches, to talk to people, to convince them to support their cause. Thank you to Iris Liu for the interview on such an important topic. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Liliana. Here at NBC, we are dedicated to covering the big story. We recently were visited by Senator Chuck Schumer, who came in Manhasset to discuss his plans regarding cybersecurity. Our very own Megan Amato was at the event. Last month, United States Senator Chuck Schumer visited our Manhasset Secondary School. Myself and our Manhasset Broadcasting Company had the honor of interviewing him November 22nd on the front lawn. Senator Schumer gave a speech regarding cybersecurity and how it impacts our school. A highlight of his speech was an explanation of new funding that would become available for public schools in the U.S. to grow and cultivate their protection against cybersecurity attacks like the ones that we faced at Manhasset. This funding will become available for all schools to apply for soon. Hi, Senator. Can you explain specifically what the dedicated cybersecurity funding provides for school districts like ours in terms that our students and young adults will understand? Yes. It goes for several things. It goes first to help school districts that have been attacked recover from those attacks so it never happens again. But it also goes to other school districts to put in the kind of software and other protections that are needed. And our school districts are strapped for money. No one wants the taxes to go up any further. And so uh, this is why the federal government has stepped in. The Manhasset Broadcasting Company thanks Senator Schumer for his time and courtesy. We hope to get our special project regarding cybersecurity to our viewers soon. Keep an eye out for it. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Megan. Next Thursday, December 16th, the Manhasset Mock Trial team presents the Winter Showcase. Mock Trial is a club here at Manhasset which focuses on simulating and preparing real court cases with the goal of competing against other schools. Students are welcome to come by and listen to the arguments and choose their final verdict. Come be the jury for a showcase featuring a riveting debate filled with drama, family feuds, and hazardous waste. The showcase will be from 4 to 6 p.m. in the auditorium on Thursday, December 16th. All are welcome, and points for the English and Social Studies Honor Societies will be awarded to those who attend. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Victoria Yang. And I'm Zane Baki. Stay cozy, Manhasset. Good show. Did great. Why are you still doing here?